So hello and welcome to Dami Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. This coffee cup was from my oldest daughter. It says my cup of tea. It is a steeper tea for loose leaf tea. I've already taken the steeper out for time being. Um, and our tea is from our January Sips by Box. It is the David's Tea Organic Cold 911 Soothing Minty Relief Tea. Um, this tea smells amazing. It has uh, peppermint, apple, juniper berries, and natural eucalyptus and orange flavoring. So I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, it smells amazing. So let's give it a nice taste. I have my usual sugar in here. I do not have my usual milk. We're kind of out for the moment, but give it a shot. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. That is really, really good. You do get some of the citrus and apple notes, and you, uh, the mint is not very strong. Even though it's one of the first things listed, it's towards the... It uh, just gives you... Oh. <laughs> that is good. I am going to put my steeper back into my cup and put the lid back on and let it steep for a little longer and then we can see how it's going to um taste at the end of our video oh god that is so good though anyway so today we are unboxing our boxy charm for january the first boxy charm for 2019 but of course, first we have to talk about our unfinished business with last month's Boxy Charm. One of the things that we did get was the uh, a little mini straightener, and I don't use that stuff on my hair. I don't use curling irons on my hair. Um, I've only recently started diffusing, but I try to avoid most heat on my hair. So the straightener was going to be a no go for me. I ended up giving it to my oldest daughter for a Christmas gift. She appreciated it. So that's where that went. So we'll go on for there. I do have all the other items and I am wearing some of them today. So let's go ahead and talk about what we have left. The next thing we have is the Cosmodex Detox Activated Charcoal Mask. Uh, my bright light there. I don't know. See if that helps for you to see. It's just a plain silver tube for the most part. It's a bit looser than most charcoal masks that I'm used to. Um, bring it. I mean, it's not liquidy or anything, but it, it's not really a thick mask, as you can see. I'm going to turn this light down a bit. Let's see if we don't blind you anymore. Um, it's not really liquidy, but it is a much thinner mask. It spreads out much thinner on the skin. It has uh, little bits of, feels like little bits of granules in there to help exfoliate your skin. It goes on very thin. It has a bit of that clay charcoal sting when you put it on. It doesn't last long. When I rinsed it off, I had a bit of a cooling sensation. Um, it was very nice. I really like the way this mask felt. It rinsed off easily. My skin felt soft and smooth, and I really like it. My pores look clean. My, my uh, face felt good. Um, I, I think I like this one. I'm not sure I'd repurchase it because as I recall, this one was a bit on the pricey side. I'd have to look it back up. Um, but it is a good mask and if you are not concerned about cost and there's not something on the lower end that you like, then this is a good one to go. I think what I like about it uh, the most is that, other than that cooling feeling, because that always feels nice on your skin, you have to admit. Um, I just have that soothing, cooling sensation. Um, I really like the fact that there's these, those really teeny tiny little, they're very, very tiny little granules in there um, that kind of gives uh, the clay mask a little bit more oomph. So I really appreciate that in this. So it's something I'd think about repurchasing if I needed a new clay mask. So next we have this body Bodyography Barely There Lip Pencil. I didn't use this and there's a couple reasons for that. I think I attempted it once. This is way too hard. Um, I mean, just to swatch it, I have to really uh, put a, quite a bit of pressure. Um, and when I did use it, the one time I did use it, it literally completely disappeared on my skin. I don't wear lipstick or lip colors that just, you know, 
what's the point of them. Um, so this will likely go to Project Beauty Share. It's not something that I would continue to use. Uh, just can't tell you much about it other than it was very, very hard and it just matched my uh, skin tone way too much for me to even um, try to test it. So yeah, was not happy with that. So the Tarte, uh, this is the Tarte, Tartiest lip paint. It's in one of their metallics. This is actually uh, a very nice um, kind of a gloss. It's a little on the sticky side. So if you don't like things that are uh, a bit stickier, um, this probably won't work for you. The color, as you can see, it's very sheer. It mostly adds kind of a, a, a glitter um, and a bit of a moisture to um, whatever you're wearing. Um, I'm actually wearing it over a Charlotte's Tillsbury mat right now. Um, I do like this. Um, it does with certain glosses get even more sticky which can be kind of uncomfortable but uh, other than that I actually ended up liking this and I will probably go ahead and keep it. I am still not supporting Tarte but this came in my box. The money for the box has been spent. I did not send the money to Tarte. BoxyCharm did all that. Um, so I don't see the point in throwing it out when I've already p paid for the box. And um, anyway, yeah, so I will likely keep it. The color is nice. I think it does add a really nice uh, soft sheen. It's not, it's not a bright, you know, hard metallic. Um, I know some people do not like metallic metallics. It's got a, a shimmery, glittery kind of feel to it without going full on metallic. And it really works well with mattes. It's not as much of a slip as I normally like, but it is a slip that I can live with. So I do use it to go over. I do see it more as a gloss than a lip paint because it is so sheer, um, but it's nice. I, I actually really have enjoyed it uh, despite the fact that it is a tad on the sticky side. If you put it with a, a matte, um, you should be fine because my lips do not feel sticky at all at this point, and the lipstick I'm wearing is very matte. I've actually enjoyed most of their lip paints in the past. Um, I'm just not a matte girl, so something on the glossier end always makes me happy. Okay, so next we got the Pretty Vulgar Powder. Um, this is their the Powder Room Matte About It Translucent Setting Powder. Um, this is really cute. I have to admit, this is one thing about Pretty Vulgar is that their packaging is usually very cute. Um, they did have a blush that kind of is borderlining on a little bit gaudy, but in general their packaging is very cute. And this powder, uh, this is a nice hard plastic. It came with this cute, kind of useless, but cute <laughs> powder puff. Not going to use it. Uh, probably won't keep it, but I thought I'd show it to you since it came in the packaging. Um, it does have a sifter inside. The powder is uh, very soft. It's finely milled. It applies beautifully. I'm actually wearing it on my skin today. Uh, it doesn't sit on top of your foundation. Um, I've had powders that, because, because I have uh, larger pores on my nose, um, powders that sit on top of the foundation rather than kind of melding in with it and um, you know, mattifying it or whatever they're supposed to do. When they sit on top, um, I'll end up with little dots all over my nose from where my pores are. This does not do that, so I really appreciate that. It's also not a white, white powder. It's sort of a kind of an almost off-white, and I don't know if you're going to notice. If you see that color, it's, it's not really, it's not white. So let's pat some more of that on there. I don't know. So as you can see, it's not really white. It's sort of an off-white, beigey, beigey color with uh, kind of a pink, pinkish tone to it. It's not horribly pink, <laughs> but I actually like the fact that it's not white. Um, white powders make me nervous, even if they're supposed to be no color or translucent. I think that uh, most of them still leave some kind of cast on them, and this one, um, doesn't seem to do that. It does have enough of that light coloring despite being translucent that it helped correct um, a mistake I made on my blush today. So there is enough color in there to actually fix mistakes, but it is not going to overtake your face if that makes sense. It doesn't appear to make most foundations. I've tried it with Cakey. It doesn't emphasize my texture unless the 
foundation is powder fussy of which I have two that are very powder fussy I don't use them. Uh, um, and I think I've actually reviewed one and the other one is waiting to come up um, all that said there are other powders that work just as well for me at a lower price point so I probably wouldn't repurchase it I am going to continue to keep this and use this um, I do really like it it's just that this is twenty dollars and 25 grams and the my bad habit powder is ten dollars and 20 grams so this is slightly less in this packaging than is in here but the price is half the price so i will take the slightly less because per ounce this will end up being cheaper um, and this is a very good powder that i've enjoyed using but like i said it is still a good powder i still really enjoy it uh, it doesn't leave my skin looking cakey i'm not seeing a lot of any emphasis of texture um i'm not getting the dots on my nose and my skin feels really soft my foundation feels really set so this is a, a really nice powder it's just for the price i wouldn't especially right now when I'm trying not to spend a lot on high-end stuff. But overall, last month's box, um, I only had one item in there that was really a problem, and that was the lip pencil. Um, well, I guess two items if you want to count the, the straightener. But the straightener went to my daughter, so it ended up being a Christmas gift that I didn't have to pay for. So in the end, BoxyCharm helped me out anyway. So... Yeah, overall, I really liked last month's box. Um, yeah, I, you know, there's almost always going to be something in there that you end up not using or not liking or whatever. So the fact that there's only one item that I actually didn't like, I mean, really didn't like, and uh, one item that ended up being used for a Christmas gift, I can live with that. The powder and the mask alone made up the cost of the box. Okay, so we're going to get moving on to this month's box. I have seen some spoilers. I'm not sure how I feel about some of them yet. But, you know, that's one of the reasons why we get these boxes, so we can try things that we're not too sure about. I do love the card. Boxy and chill. This is really nice. It has our stuff on the back. We're going to put that down. And just dig in, looking upwards. I'm going to leave the bigger item for later. Um, so first I have the Briogeo Don't Despair Strength and Moisture Leave-In Mask. I have tried some other Briogeo products. I used to get their, um, a different mask of theirs, I believe that was... It wasn't the spray in version. And I did like it. It's just they're a very pricey brand. This is the two ounce size of this particular product. Briogeo is nice in the fact that um, when they do products, a lot of times they will have different sizes of those products. So you can get whatever is uh, fitting for your budget. Um, looking forward to giving this a try because like I said, I've tried some of their other products and they're really good. And they do appear to work really well with curly hair. Uh, we put in with the guy here. And here I've got Smith's Cult, the Tainted Lip Stained Palette. No, Lip Stained Flat Matte. Okay, so we've got another matte. Diary of a Beauty Junkie. And then on the bottom it says Love Sucker. There's the box packaging. There, so you can see that. There's the box packaging. That's actually pretty cool. And then on the back it says Diary of a Beauty Junkie. There you go. So let's open this up. My understanding is that this was the biggest part variation. There was a, the palette has a variation this month too, but this one had the most variations. Let me get my knife. We got it. Oh wow. That is some pretty packaging right there. So it has Smith and Cult on there. That's very pretty. And so the color is Love Sucker. It says flat, which means it's matte. Let's see what this color looks like. It's got a slight dent here. I suspect that's for you to hold it with your thumb. You know, like brushes have those little spots where you can put your thumb or your finger. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is, um, this is bright. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to wear that. That is really, really pink, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is so pink. <laughs> um, 
we'll try it, but more than likely this will end up being adjusted with, you know, not only because it's matte, because I don't like mattes, but also because it is so pink. Um, that's bubblegum, guys. That... <sighs> The lighting is is tone is is washing it out some. Trust me, that is bubblegum pink, bubblegum pink, not a color I would normally wear. So what else do we have in here? We have a pencil. This is Starlux Aurora Ultra Gem Long Wear Eye Pencil. Hmm. Thought I heard people were getting a brow pencil. This is an eye pencil. This plastic just wants to take its time and come off in pieces. Ah, I think we got it. I think we got it. Oh, yes. Yes, we got it. Okay, so, whoa. That's what this looks like. It's a roll-up. Oh, goodness. What color is this? Um, It's a color that's not going to show up. Looks like it's kind of a rosy color. Which would make sense since our yeah I'm having trouble getting that to show up ah uh, okay guys there it is I don't know how I feel about that I, I don't think that that's gonna work for my skin I can kind of already tell it is so so light um I wonder if I can use it as to a highlight in the middle of a look somewhere I'll have to try it that way because as a liner or whatever this this is not gonna work it just, the color is pretty. It's got a nice shimmery sheen. But as you can see, it just pretty much disappears on my skin. That always makes me sad. Alrighty, I'm going to put that down. Something else to try out another day. I'm going to pull out these that everybody's gotten. And that's these Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin um, Sheet Masks. Uh, these are, again, something that I'm not particularly pleased with. I don't like sheet masks, as you all know. I will give at least one of them a try. Probably will end up giving the other one to my daughter, but at least then I'll be able to report back to you on um, how it worked. Um, but there you go, some face masks. I'm not particularly thrilled. <laughs> so our last item is one of the things. I didn't know about the, the eye pencil rule. I would have been like, I don't know. Um, <laughs> the last item is one of the things that I don't know how I feel about um, because it's another Tarte product. Uh, from what I've seen on the site, it's quite possible they're getting rid of these. Um, from what I've seen, they're sold out. They're out of stock on the site. I do not know if they're coming back and maybe they were giving them up to Boxy. But that is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea, Volume 3. So let's see. Let's take a look. Oh, I like the, I always like Tarte's, always have liked Tarte's packaging. I like the gold and I like the way they do the designs on the cover. I love my treasure box from last Christmas, not last Christmas, the Christmas before. Um, so I've always loved their packaging. They're just got other issues. Let's take a look at this. Oh no. Okay. So this is another one of those might not work for me because of skin tone. Lots, I, you know, I really think I would have preferred the one with the much darker brown. Let's see what we can do here. Most of these are shimmers. And in fact, only one of them looks like it's not a shimmer and it might be a satin. So I'm going to start up at the top. My husband's in the kitchen, so if you hear a noise in the background, that's what's going on. I'm going to start up at the top and work my way around this way. So we're starting with the lighter colors and then going to this uh, sort of satin pink. We'll start there. Hmm. They have a really nice shine to them. Just don't know how they're going to work on my skin. That one will be nice. Tarte is one of the few that has had mattes that I really like. These colors are showing up a little bit differently than I expected them to. I can't see myself using them by themselves in a look. But with all that shine... That might work. Okay, so that's the first four. And we're now going to do the last four. Oh, that's nice. The matte one is very soft. I really like the feeling of that. Like I said, I'm just worried about how they're going to work on my skin. Okay. 
Okay, so that's the last four right there. You can see that matte, mattish color. I don't know. This one here is just pretty much vanished, but these two are really nice. So it's a neutral palette. Uh, most of the Tarte stuff is. The one time they joked about color, they didn't do it and everybody else did it for them. Um, <laughs> I can live with it. I'm going to go ahead. I'll give it a shot. See if I can actually get it to work. It has a nice mirror in it. I actually have, um, I bought their color corrector and I actually now use the little compact in my purse. So, um, these are actually quite usable later. You can get the, you can get the round part out of there without breaking anything. It's really nice. But uh, I will give this a try and we'll see how it works. I'm not having high expectations because um, this is all pretty much, these colors are all pretty much really close to each other in tone, which is why I would have preferred the one with the really dark brown um, or something like that to have some sort of contrasting color in there. This doesn't feel like there's, this doesn't feel like it's much of a contrast to the rest of these, but it does have some nice bronzy shimmers in it that I could probably use on a look like I have today, um, which I have gold on my lid and some um, rosy colors uh, beyond that. Um, so something that might work for that or for lightening up colors or for giving me um, a nice uh, middle mid lid highlight. I don't see myself using it much, but we'll, we'll experiment it with it and see how it, how it works. We'll give it a shot. That's what we'll do. That's what we always do. So how do I feel about this month's uh, box so far? Eh, that's really nice. This would be really nice if the color wasn't so bright. Um, eh, <laughs> and... Um, and my understanding is this doesn't even make the, uh, the value of the box. Um, I'm going to say it's not one of the best boxy charms that I've ever received. Um, I don't foresee me using, um, too much of it, mm, sadly. Um, but you know, we all have boxes when we're on sub boxes, we always risk getting that one box that just isn't going to work for us. And it happens now and then it does. I've had my favorite, my curl box, uh, disappoint me more than once, so that happens. Uh, but overall, you know, is it worth the value of the box? Yes, definitely. It it does definitely meet the standard of it is more than the value of the box. It's just whether or not I would end up using it all, and on most days, probably not. <laughs> But we will try to give them a shot and see if we can get them to work. And if not, I'm sure we have places for some of it to go. This may end up not going anywhere because I can't see any of my girls wearing a color that bright, unfortunately. And since it's a liquid lipstick, I can't give it to Project Beauty Share. This would have worked on somebody with a far different skin tone, I think. That's it for our boxy charm for this month, and I hope you like what you've seen and that you will come back again. If you're not subscribed, I hope you will subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can know when I upload. And if you are already on my notification squad, yes indeed, you need to check your bells because yes indeed, they're still being knocked off. Really, really, YouTube. This can't be that hard. Just, it can't be that hard. Anyway, if you don't subscribe, well, I'll be sad, but know that you're always welcome and that we hope that you will come back again. And that if you do come back again, don't forget to bring your cup of tea. Oh, that is so good. Hmm, <laughs> it's all really, you get that mint in the Along the back end, you get sort of really refreshes your mouth, so to speak. You get the other flavors. Oh. Mm. That is a really good mint, and it is doing just fine without the milk. Just fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a milk and sugar girl with my tea. Anyway, I hope you all have a great day. <laughs>